Give me a second. Let me learn how to do this. Okay. Um, so art is everywhere, yet it means something different to people all over the world. And art has slowly shaped the world we live in today. And according to people, not people, my bad, scholars of the New York University of Steinhardt, contemporary art has slowly revolutionized, but not just revolutionized, it has also impacted the 21st century. Um, for those of you who are in the dark about what contemporary art is, is um, defined as or by um, art21.org, uh, says that it's a dynamic combination of materials, methods, concepts, and subjects that change traditional boundaries. So here, I have a sketchbook. And in the sketchbook, there are pieces that would be categorized under contemporary art that I have drawn myself. And as an artist um, that has drawn for many years and has used sketchbooks throughout my lifespan, it is important for you guys to understand the foundation of how contemporary art is used in modern society today. And contemporary art is neglected a lot in society today, but I'm trying to find a new appreciation um, because it has meaning to every artist and it, di it differentiates. So first I will be talking about how my sketchbook correlates with contemporary art and then I will talk about how I use it as a therapeutic process. Um, so sketchbooks are used through drawings and drawings can vary with contemporary art in this art culture with like, let's say, just doodles or I don't know, <laughs> anything. I use it for realism. It could be anything you really want it to be. It doesn't really have to be very specific. Um, Sketchbooks are just one form of um, storage, and that's because, you know, it's private, it's all compiled, it's organized, and that's why people, like artists, use it, because it's there when it's ready, it's available, you can just draw down to the next page if you need it. What makes people who use sketchbooks different than people who don't is privacy. That, that's what it comes down to, because people who, let's say, use a wall or tattoos, they display it and therefore are allowing people to critique it. But people who use sketchbooks are very personal, very private about their, their drawings and therefore allow a certain amount of people to view it, not all. So that's like the main difference. Um, contemporary art is a form of self-expression and culture. In sketchbooks, you can see it a lot. You'll see people drawing what they're feeling. If they're aggressive or they're angry, they'll draw it. If something is manipulated by their feelings. Um, and a sketchbook is just an open access to just vent your creativity. It's just something that's there and ready and available. Uh, so now I'll be talking about my personal relationship with my sketchbook. And um, I be, I guess, I will label myself as an artist. When I was 10, I was in the fourth grade, and as a 10 year old, my art was crap. It was not good at all. I thought I was like really cool, but no, I was not. Um, <laughs> the reason why I liked art and why I did it was because I was surrounded by very artistic people, and I thought that was cool. I mean, I wanted to be cool. I wanted to show that I can be, I guess, manipulated by this creative art genre. And later on, well, this sketchbook in particular uh, has kind of manipulated or molded my whole four years of high school. I was an AP art student, and so I had to do 24 pieces in a whole year, and it took a lot of dedication and time. And I mean, it helped create, not really, it helped push me. And I had to put a lot of time and reserve a lot of time and dedication into the art process. And it eventually became a stress reliever for me because I used it to vent. I, I just blocked everything off and focused on one thing and I forgot about all the bull crap of life. And continuing on, um, ultimately, contemporary art is not as appreciated as it should be. And 
it has different meaning to different people. It, it's supposed to, I mean, that's what art is. It, it differs, it's a difference with everybody. And it helps people, like it helped me. It helped me in the therapeutic process where I was venting. And it could also be fun. So first I talked about how my sketchbook correlates with contemporary art. And then I talked about how I used it as a therapeutic process. So ultimately art has lost its importance and it is not very understood. Uh, I'm trying, I'm here to encourage you to try art, not just and like, I'm not saying to draw, just do anything, like experiment. You don't have to, you know, force yourself to do anything. Just try it. And so I'll leave off with a quote from Ratatouille from the Disney movie. Not everyone can become a great artist, but a great artist can come from anywhere.